crypto community welcome to this weekly news and crypto market update by t-rox and this is what we're going to talk about today first of all we will talk about the crypto futures can be used as an indicator and that h and m is using the blockchain we will hit over that there is an nyc hospital company who is using the blockchain to fight against corona and as well that the Swiss Crypto Valley is struggling, and so they seek for government's help. Last but not least, we will head over to our weekly crypto market update. First of all, the total crypto derivatives volume in quarter 1 2020 spikes 314% from Q4 2019's average. And what we can see is that crypto futures are getting more and more important in this market due to this huge upswing and the industry reached over 2.1 trillion dollars in q1 2020 and this is how i said the increase of 314 percent and here they took a look on the big exchanges like okx bitmax ruby binance and so on and so forth and average daily trading volume as well skyrocket so basically we had a daily trading volume of 23.3 billion in crypto futures and this represents an increase of 274 percent from 2019 and all in all as well the researchers said that they believe the cryptocurrency futures have already possessed some attributes of market leading indicators and spot market participants can refer to future trading volume for position management so here you can see that they are saying that the futures will drive the market HMN targets ethical consumers with blockchain traceability and for using the supply chain or to have a transparent supply chain for the premium fashion brand they cooperating with VeChain and COS the luxury subsidiary of the fast fashion brand H&M appears to have partnered with the blockchain platform VeChain to provide detailed supply chain tracing data to customers so here we can see even if H&M is yet to confirm the partnership they want to use the blockchain to have a good supply chain or to have a transparent supply chain to then show the people what is possible and where all this stuff is coming from and for the future we not only can track something with it but we could have for example an nft a non-fungible token for clothing items parent generated at the point of sale providing the owner with a token proving authenticity and an immutable record of ownership and this for example are huge things that could be implemented and done in the future via the blockchain but for now H&M is partnering with WeChain which is quite good and huge news NYC hospitals turn to EBM's blockchain tech for COVID-19 relief and what he can see is that Northville has a New York based healthcare group which is having over 800 hospitals in the region join the IBM's rapid supplier connect network and this is a cloud-based application uh, via distributed ledger technology where you as well can use the blockchain technology for supply chain and as well to then see what is possible and what is not possible and the vice president Phyllis McGreedy said it is through creating your own group, purchasing organizations and supply chain and joining forces with non-traditional suppliers that we have maintained an adequate stockpile of personal protection equipment and other equipment and supplies. So we are all pleased to join IBM Rapid Supplier Connect, she added. So all in all, what we can see over here is that they are going new ways, new paths to then have a chance against Corona or to see how they can even have a better supply chain and where all this stuff is coming from. Swiss Crypto Valley is struggling and now they need 100 million Swiss francs for help to not getting washed out of this market. And may you know in Switzerland there is a very crypto friendly area where a lot of crypto companies are having the headquarter and now they need a, gov a federal government fund help to not going down and the fintech startup are struggling and for the report they said of the biggest 50 companies operating in this region only half said in a survey that they will make it through the next 12 months under current conditions and this 
is as well showing how Corona is even impacting European companies and Swift Crypto Valley companies. Did you even they having less money now due to a lot of investors are taking out their money so they can't use this money anymore and so they are struggling and of course the Swiss government is now thinking about to help them but if we're now taking a look on the seven day performance of the total market capitalization we can see that we started with around 207 billion us dollars and right now we're hanging at around 222 billion us dollars and this is an increase of seven those seven percent in one week and what you as well can see is that we had one dip over here at the start of the week and then we had a huge uptrend over the last the days and exactly the seven or seven percent you can see like in bitcoin ethereum as the flagship of the crypto market went up around eight to nine percent while ripple bitcoin cash bitcoin sv litecoin eos and binance coin all just waved around one to five percent while testers and cardano are definitely the winner of this week with around 19 and 26 percent upwards trend and how you can see as well if you compare all this together you will have around seven percent market increase so all in all quite a good week and if we now take a look on bitcoin from the last week what we can see is quite easily over here we started this week with around seven thousand two hundred dollars and then the market the worldwide markets opened negatively and as well the ma50 line which was this black line as a support did not help and so the market went down a little so all in all we started this week with around dip of around 5.5% then we found a support at 7,000 at $6,800 and then the market had huge buy orders and lifted up we just broke through 7k and afterwards we held 7k as we had a small sell off over here so we had a support build it above 7k and, and then the market went quite good to the weekend as well the crypto market lifted up and saw a spike based from this support of around eight to nine percent in of eight to nine percent in crypto and then we had a very positive and strong weekend where we just consolidating around seven thousand seven hundred to seven thousand five hundred and we had a sideways movement of around two and a half days and as then the stock markets or the futures opened nicely as well we saw quite a new push to cryptos and what is quite interesting right now how you may can see if i'm scrolling in here this black line the ma50 line was a support over the weekend and is now as well this first support at around 7600 followed by the ma100 at around 7500 and damage 200 at around 7250 so what we can see as well over here when we're staying bullish and the worldwide market are gaining new trends we can may retest 8k but all in all as well if we're breaking through this support may the halving atmosphere will be gone first and then it would be good to hold the support at 7250 or the support at 7000 to stay bullish but all in all quite a good last week the rsi is getting a little neutral now so let's see what's happened within the next days but the week before was quite bullish we are still above the ichimoku cloud which as well as a bullish sign and all in all we built a good support and having huge buyback orders in the market to then may have a good rally to come until a few days before the halving i hope you liked this video if you do so i would love it if you could like share or comment this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly crypto market and news update provided by t-rocks